Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Science is like magic and magic tricks. Astronomy is much like Hogwarts, a school of wizardry and science craft. Yeah, that's right. Welcome to Asteroid Challenge Fight Club. I'm your host, Thor. Ladies and gentlemen, looky here. I am busting out everywhere with the science. I am bringing the science like a hammer. All right, I found a comet. I think it's a comet. Maybe it's an asteroid. It's got a tail. Maybe it's a small dwarf planet. Who knows? That's why I'm making this video. So all those wonderful amateur and professional astronomers can help me solve this mystery. What comet is this? There she is. She starts down here. It's cooking with a tail. And then gets kind of lost in this little dark cloud. And then pops out at the end. What comet is that? I'm not lazy. I do my due diligence. I do a reasonable amount of research that is necessary. So I'm very curious. Also, it's neat that our little parachute lens flare is going away in proportion to Venus, as Estromut pointed out. What I think is neat about this, he says the giant eye has the Pleiades sisters. I would like to marry all seven. But what I think is interesting, if you look at that little ball right there, it almost looks like that thingy is one giant star, and it's got a giant star moon, star planet. Hot Jupiter? I don't know. You can even see that thing cast a shadow onto the other thing. I think it's fascinating. But also, I'm sad. It's too bad we can't have the stereo head camera operating to full function. If you'll notice, we've only got 46 photographs in about the last 30 days. Averaging 1.5 photograph a day, and they're pretty grainy. So, put out the word. Everybody you know, what comet is that? Because I know Earth is over here, and the sun's over here. It'd be interesting to know. I'd like to know. So I guess this is an unofficial Asteroid Fight Club meeting. I tried to figure it out. You know, is it unnamed comet? Well, anything could be unnamed comet. Is it the comet fragment from comet C2011J12? Comet Siding Spring. Pretty sure we can rule out Siding Spring. But you know that the comet action has gotten hot because Tony Scarmato is back in the game. You may remember him from our Comet Ison days. Oh look, Comet 67P. Boring. All right, so I tried to do my research. You may say, where is stereo? That's a fair question. You notice the Earth is here, and so it's in between Earth and Venus, shooting out that way. So yeah, it's pointing out that way towards Earth. Now, knowing that, okay, if it's pointing out here towards Earth, it's definitely not pan stars, because pan stars is going down, 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 down. It's going down. So it's not pan stars. Good job. This new super comet C2013 V5 Okai Meden. That thing is super parabolic. Look at that. That may be the most parabolic looking comet I've ever seen. Ever, man. That is one freaking parabolic comet, man. You know what I'm saying? And look at it in comparison to the other orbits. That's just nutty. So it's probably not that one because it would have been out of frame. Here's our boy Huequez. Later, homie. So it's definitely not him. It's most deaf, not sighting spring either. Maybe it's that new asteroid Amy Mains are found and named after Phil Plate. 2014 Phil Plate 69. I must now go throw up my cookies. Never ever thought I'd put Phil Plate together with that number. What have you done to me, Amy Mainzer? Why? What did I ever do to you? 
I'm sorry. Okay. Man, how many asteroids you guys can name after Phil? Seriously, bro. Nope, that one's going up. So the only one that looks like it could even possibly be it would be Ukai Uk Ukai Meden. I, mean, I don't think it's Ukai Meden because it, it crosses Venus on August 18th, and it clearly would have been out of the frame. And it crossed almost yeah, it would have been out of the frame at least a week ago. All right, so it's a mystery. Nobody knows. Let me know. Amateur astronomers, I'm crowdsourcing this one. Is it one of these bad boys? Or is it something else? You tell me. I'd like to know. It would be cool to finally see a cool ass comet in the sky. Up to now, they're nothing but disappointing. And even to me, the Rosetta Stone 67 Cherry P, boring as heck. I'd rather look at Mars dirt, really. Okay, God bless everybody. Peace out. Comet. So, that's crazy. Wait, what? Ukumaiden has a 11,697 year orbit. That's interesting. Well, look at that. They found it 2013 in November, and they've looked at it 1,132 times. It's comet ice and levels, man. Okay, so if uh, nobody's discovered this comet, and it's not any of the ones listed, not any of the ones found before, hey, Sats, does that mean you're going to name a comet after me? That's awesome. Are you going to name it Thor? Thor News? Thor is awesome? Thor is Captain. Oh my God, I'm awesome. And you name it Thor Creeps. Amy Mains are out. Uh, don't talk to Thor. Thor is a jerk. Thor knows nothing. W what? What's the deal? I'd like to know. Can somebody tell me? Okay. Sweet. Strange days indeed. And there will be signs in the heavens. Well, yep. Stay 